actually it's this afternoon now it's 12 30 i've been filming all morning so yeah all oh, the sun's just coming out now classic right after i film so i did a gemstone look i did a oh mixing all my highlights together i was like i can't actually remember and I'm going to film a declutter next and then I'm going to come back and edit my declutter for tomorrow because I want to upload it tomorrow and I'm going to um, edit a vlog, of course. So, yeah. So, yesterday and the day before I didn't vlog, the last vlog was Saturday, so today is Tuesday, didn't vlog Sunday or Monday. Um, yesterday I felt very sick, like in my stomach and everything. I think it was because we had like fish and chips the night before with my green dad, he came over for dinner and uh, something they must have used like the oil or the batter or like something did not agree with me and yesterday i felt lethargic sick tired like all day so i just sat there on my computer and edited and did like emails and like exo beauty work and stuff like that um so i was like i can't be bothered vlogging today so i'm just sticking to today today i'm uploading saturday's vlog so i'm like back on track I think like I'm, I don't have lots of vlogs to edit at the moment or anything um so yeah because sometimes like it gets to the weekend I'm like oh, I'm not gonna edit a vlog today and I forget that I've got like more than one vlog so then by the time the next week comes I've got like a backlog of vlogs and I'm trying to be more like um like recent I guess like when I upload a vlog I want it to only be from like a day or two beforehand not like five days beforehand so I thought I might as well wait till today as well just to vlog so it's like up to date again, if that makes sense. Cause I'm guessing you'll see this tomorrow. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. I'm my avocado, an avocado. I also got sent this today. It just turned up in the mail. I'm excited to try it. Mango, strawberry, mint, and rose. It sounds good. So I might try that later, I don't know. I should open some mail for you guys too. I saw some comments in yesterday's vlog, which was my Friday vlog that you guys want to see the PR. Oh my god. Look at you. Look at you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. What's this? What's this? Yes. Give it. Give it. <laughs> I'm sorry about, I am so proud of myself. But these like, like, as soon as you touch them, they fall off. Well, some of them do. Oh, there's the toast. I wiped off half my makeup, peeled off my falsies, peeled off some glitter because I'm just sick of wearing makeup already. You know some days when you're just like, I don't want to wear makeup today. Like I started off wanting to and then once it was on I was just like, you know what? I don't care. And I'm filming a declutter now so I don't have to show my face anyway. <laughs> so I was like, meh, I can look average. I want to just pick off all of this. Like, I don't know. I'm just having one of those days. So yeah, now I'm going to film my foundation declutter. I'll show you guys at the end what I'm getting rid of. So here is all of the stuff I am getting rid of for various reasons. You'll notice in here some of my all-time favorite products are in here. So you'll be like, um, Shannon, why are you getting rid of that? But you will see when you watch the video, which I'm pretty sure this is coming out the same day as this vlog, potentially. So there you go. Go watch my main channel if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff. Some favorites, some dislikes, some, yeah, just all sorts of stuff. So make sure you check out the video. I love filming these and you guys always seem to love watching them. And I'd love your feedback. Like, let me know how often I should do them. I was thinking maybe like twice a year or something. Because I do get so much stuff all the time. So like my drawers are constantly just getting like disgusting and filled up. Okay. <laughs> Neutral palettes. Like, oh god, don't mind my rubbish palette. I need to take out the rubbish. That's where I put all my rubbish. Um... Like, so bad. Look at this. <laughs> Here's a sneak peek of how my drawers are looking now. Nice and organized. If you could have seen them before, you would understand how much I got rid of. And this drop top's like got space for days now. So, this is all going to be split between donating, like the newer stuff, 
or stuff that's like full um, and then anything that's super old or mostly used can go up to my friends or in the bin. And then in a couple days once I've finished all of my declutters I'm going to vacuum this floor because it's got dust on it everywhere from like doing my unboxing videos like just bits of like paper and confetti and things but um yeah I just want to wait till I've finished all of my declutters first so that my room will be nice and spotless. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do a declutter on lashes. Um, because I've got heaps of lashes to put away. And I've also got a ton of lashes in my drawers. And it's not even going to really be a declutter for the most part. Um, kind of just like a organization video. Let me know if you want to see that. Because I need to like put my lashes away really nicely and tidily. So I thought it could be a cool video. Like kind of like a declutter organizing video. But... I don't know. I don't know if it's like boring or not. And I was also gonna like put away like all of the face masks and like eye patches and random stuff I have as well. Because this is what it currently looks like. An absolute mess. Those are all my highlighters from today's video by the way. And rubbish that needs to go into the big bin outside because it's like jam packed full. That's how you can tell I've been filming a lot is when my bin just like fills up. I'm putting up my vlog. Why are you crying? And why have you got my package? Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're the neediest dog I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> You've got to wait one more hour till I'm done work. <laughs> yes. Ever since Hamish started working full time, Louis is unimpressed. Stop. Because he used to sit with Hamish in Hamish's room all day while Hamish studied. You're silly. I just uploaded today's new vlog. Just now, so I'm just checking the comments out. So shout out to everyone who has post notifications on. Yay, Twitter fam. Lots of comments already. I love you guys. Thank you so much for commenting. It really helps me out, especially with all of the like algorithm changes on YouTube. Thank you so much. I'm going to go to yesterday's vlog and answer a few questions. And then, oh my god, I've been looking up baby stuff because someone in my family is pregnant. <laughs> They're stalking me. Um, anyway, um, I'm not pregnant, but anyway, just answer a few questions and then I'm going to edit my declutter for tomorrow that's going up. So, where is Hamish when you film? What's his job? I think he was in school. Did he graduate? He hasn't graduated yet, but he finished and he passed everything and he passed amazing as well, might I add. He got such good grades. Um, he pops in sometimes and I'm like, where'd you come from? So he works like normal work hours over at Exo Beauty. Um, he is doing heats of stuff behind the scenes like he does all of the IT for the website he's helping with like social media marketing and he's implementing a whole lot of new stuff to, so better, to help to hopefully help us grow bigger and better um and we're learning about like ads like google ads and just all this kind of stuff we've never really had time to look at so he's doing heaps of stuff like that he's gonna do that a while and see how he likes it and if you know, if we want to go back into like what he studied, like land valuation, everything, we might move because there's not really jobs here in Palmy for that. So we're just seeing how it's all going for now. He's loving it, um, and it's like a really cool job. He's quite like you know stimulated and enjoying it and everything. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it all goes. And it's also quite good because the he's done two, like two university, like he's studied for six years. Um, so the first degree he did is coming in really helpful. It was like for IT and business management and stuff like that. So it's coming in really helpful at Exo Beauty, which is nice. Did you like the prawns? I think I replied to this one, did I? No. Okay, I replied to someone. Yes, I did, but I can't eat too many because the texture's weird after a while. I just had a few of them and then gave the rest to Hamish, but I did like them. Like, they were all good. Um... But yeah, I don't eat many of them. People are saying you can cook the top of the leeks. Okay, I'm going to try it next time. I usually cook them in like, like I'll cut up the white part of the leek. And then I put it in a pan with melted like margarine, like that olivani stuff. I just use like a tablespoon for the whole lot. So I'll try um, cooking the top in butter too. People have said like to cook them in butter. Oh yeah, someone said that the prices aren't um, what I said for Papamoa. But it's because we're looking at the beachfront like... We don't want to live in like any of the suburbs or anything. We want a beachfront one for a beach house. Like that's our goal. So obviously like the land's a bit different. This is interesting. It needs to be soy milk, milk made from soybeans and not soy protein. I'm going to copy that. 
and like just look at the soy milk I have. The link for the straws is in the down bar. How do you clean the metal straws? So they come with like a cleaner, like a little spoolie basically that you just like shove in there. So I just do that and then I just chuck them in the dishwasher and they clean up really well and really easy. By the way, I don't know why it was only in 360p for ages. Like obviously it's a YouTube glitch. Basically every single time I upload my videos don't even go to subscription boxes half the time. Like even my own because I have two channels so I'll like check. And like my videos don't get sent to my other channels or the notifications sometimes don't work sometimes they don't even like pop up on my channel and it's like where's the video i just uploaded it but it's not there um i think sometimes youtube's just like completely shitting itself so i'm just gonna read some more comments and then i'm going to edit my other video it's four o'clock so i've got heaps of stuff done today by the way guys the phone cases are now online sorry they took a while um we we're just having issues loading them but it's all ready now um, and at the moment they're only available for iPhone. We've just done two because like there was such big minimum quantities. We didn't want to like have like tens of thousands of stock lying around. So we just got a few thousand in two different sti styles. So 6, 6S and 7 and 8 because when I did polls back in the day those were like the most popular iPhone sizes I guess. And we haven't done any others like any other iPhone sizes or Android but of course like if you love a phone case so much, you just need to like let me know. So if I get enough um, interest, it's something we can consider. But yeah, it's just like it, we would have had to have put so much money in and had so much space in the warehouse for them all if we did like heaps of sizes. So I just had to start with a few because who knows? These could not even sell. Like people might not even buy them. So, you know, we just want to see how these go first. Um, I know some of you will be bummed because there's only a couple sizes. So I'm really sorry if, you know, your phone case size isn't in there. Um, I did try my best to do like the majority ones, like the ones most of you guys had. Okay, change of plans. It's taking ages to import, so I might open some mail while I let that happen because my computer's so slow. Like I said, I need to change over my computer. Um, but yeah, it's so slow that it's just like lagging. Like, look how long it's taking for this to freaking load. So we'll open some mail in the meantime. Hey, what's this? I bought this for him in Hong Kong <laughs> on the way back from Germany. Okay, apparently I've got 23 hours till my footage is gonna finish importing, so hopefully not, because I mean, I wanna put it up tomorrow. It'll just be glitching out and freezing and stuff. I bought a tripod, and I can't remember where I put it. By the way, all the stuff here is lighting that didn't work out for me, so I've gotta get rid of it. <sighs> fun, fun. Okay. Where's this from? Truly natural. Never heard of this brand. Conte? No. Hi Shannon, enjoy our favorites from Conte Skin, Verso Skincare, Pie Skincare, Make Beauty Official, and Herbivore Botanicals. Lots of brands I've never heard of or used before, so we've got the stuff from Context. $20 each, made in the USA, paraben free, sulfate free, cruelty free lipsticks. Oh, they're balms. Nude balm. I'm just gonna take out one and show you. This is the packaging. Ooh, it's a nice color. Ooh, it's like a sheer lipstick. I like formulas like this. They're just nice to chuck on, like every day. They smell like Raro. <laughs> they feel quite hydrating. Heartbreaker is the shade. This lighting is so bad. The window is like on that direction. Ugh. Truly natural. Oh, herbivore rose hibiscus coconut water hydrating face mist. That. Oh. Oh, it comes out in full force. Oh, it smells good. It smells like rose. I'm like warming up to the scent of rose as I get older. I used to hate it, and now I'm like kind of enjoying it. This is such an unflattering angle right now, and like this t-shirt and the like shitty makeup and stuff. Um, and then ooh, rose quartz. Illuminating body oil. It looks pretty. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Feels really good. It's just got like tiny little shimmers in it. And then we have the pie rosehip oil. And we have a succulent mist by Make. What on earth is that? Cactus extracts that help to hydrate, refresh, and relieve hot sun parched skin. Kind of cool and a moonlight moisturizing primer i'm excited 
excited. I like trying new brands. Ooh, cool packaging. It's like glass but black. Moonlight Moisturizing Primer. Oh, <gasps> it's actually black. Cool. I want to try this in a video. Hybrid Moisturizer and Primer helps shield damage against HEV and pace of blah, 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 blah. There's actually so many packages, but I'm just opening a few today. Um, maybe hopefully I can get my ass into gear and just do a few every day. <gasps> my beauty lish stuff. Yay! I ordered this myself. What are you doing? He always gets real hyper at this time of day. He like sleeps all day and then as soon as it's like four to five, he's like, yeah, time to play. Which is always like the time of day when I'm like finishing up my work and I'm like, <sighs> but you know, you've just got to do it. It's just part of being a dog mum, isn't it? Yes. What? <sighs> Might take him for a walk later. Did not say that too loud. Wait, oh, I was like, I'm sure there's more, but there is more. Um, so this is the Viseart um, Orange Violet Blush Palette. So there was another one that looked way more wearable. But I was like, no, Shannon, you've probably already got colors like that. And my other Viseart palette is really wearable. So I got the one that had like orange and purple. Which I feel like this would be so good for people with medium and darker skin tones. But I want to try it out on my skin tone. This color in particular really caught my attention. Um, and just like, I just, I don't know. You know, you guys know how much I love my other ones. So I'll pit myself that up. And I got some of these, what are they called? Intense sparklers for your eyes, face, and body. It's like a highlighter got two of them so this one here is in the shade 14 i think i don't know if i'm gonna love these or hate these because they look so sparkly which you would get from the name they even feel quite gritty but i really just wanted to try them oh when you buff it into your skin though it kind of like blends in quite nicely like look at that so you know and sometimes i'm in the mood for like a bit of shimmer and something intense so it just depends but for like everyday makeup like i will not be going for this but i think for like my more like creative makeup and stuff it could be really cool this one's in the shade 13 it's like more of like a bronzy orangey shade i'll show you the reason i went on the website in the first place was to get this the anastasia beverly hills amrezy i have no idea if this is coming in the mail or not because um i was on the pr list for anastasia beverly hills and then i don't know if i was off it or what um i don't really mind because i just buy stuff i love anyway but it's quite handy getting sent the new stuff for like videos and things. But I'm like not salty about it. Um, and then they emailed me recently and asked for my address for PR. So I don't know if this is coming or not. But I don't care. I bought it anyway. And I figure if another one turns up I can do a giveaway for you guys. Because this looks amazing. This looks so intense. So it's definitely going to be for my more intense moods. It's the Amrezy one. And I just love the pattern. It's so cool. It's expensive to do stuff like that. That's it in the middle. It's like blinding. It's actually not that shimmery. It's very finely milled. See if you can compare it to the Inglot one. See how like the sparkle in it is so tiny that it just looks like metallic rather than glittery. Hopefully you can see on camera. I can definitely tell in real life. But anyway, so I went on there for that and also this because um, mine's like basically empty. I use this to death. I got another one of my Inglot Duraline. I love these. It's really good to mix with like dried out eyeliner, dried out brow gel, um, dried out mascara or like eyeshadows and pigments and stuff and then i bought this because i think i saw Gemma. what's her username Gemma barrett i'm trying to think of the username i'll get it up in a second i don't want to get it wrong because you guys can go follow her if you want so she said and one of those like you know those things going around they're like um about me like on instagram on instagram stories and you like fill in the blanks and it said something about like something you couldn't live without or something along those lines and she said the neod photography fluid um there was like two different ones i didn't know which one i was supposed to get so i just got this this is the opacity 12 percent highlighting system it just sounded really interesting so i was like i've never heard of that so i looked it up it says apply instead of or under liquid foundation to balance out undesirable color tones and skin imperfections this formula can also be mixed with other products for a subtle hue correction so like what is it like white it's so weird i don't know i'm gonna have to try it on my skin and see what it does to it because i've never heard of it i don't know if you guys have or not 
don't know if I'm living under a rock, but anyway, hold on, I'll go get her Instagram details. Gemma Barrett MUA, that's right. This is her page. She's got such cool makeup, like her makeup style is really cool. So uh, yeah, go follow her. I'm like loving just like all of these new, like not saying she's new, but in general like all of these New Zealand um, pages coming up. Like especially with XO Beauty, like when my team are reposting images and myself, because I do it too sometimes, but when we're all reposting, like I really like to like support like smaller people as well. I just like love it when, you know, New Zealand Instagrammers and stuff like promote XO Beauty so we can like share the love. Because like XO Beauty's got a lot of followers, so it's nice to be able to like I don't know, help them grow a bit, I guess. And I just appreciate their support, so yeah. I always try to do lots of New Zealanders on here, but just people from all around the world as well. There are some people with like smaller follower numbers that are like just as good as people that have like millions of followers, so whatever. I really look for good quality like posts. I don't care like who the person is, um, you know, where they're from or anything like that, like their followers, whatever, whatever. I look at the quality of the pictures. Like this girl here, what's her name? Michaela Ray Davis. Her photo quality is so incredible. I'm on the EXO Beauty account right now. Like it just shows off the lashes so amazing. And she uses so much EXO Beauty and I love her. She's got 1,400 followers and she's from the US. She's so talented. But like I just appreciate support. Like, and I just want to support people back. So hopefully, yeah. My camera just cut off. So I'm not sure if you guys saw me share the new Mega Max stuff. But anyway, lots of new Mega Max stuff. And then Hamish bought in this PO Box package yesterday. Distracted Cosmetics. Hi Shannon, let me introduce myself. I'm Kelly, I've always been a big fan of your channel. You really inspire me with your girl bossness. And in May last year, I started my own cosmetics brand. Look at her writing. Like, how good. So there's all of these little um, glitter gel things. Oh my gosh, this could be really cool for Tomorrowland. This one's in Pacific, and look at this. Quite cool. And then we have a purple one and this little red one. And also a bunch of these pressed glitters, which are really cool. So thank you so much. Okay, heaps more mail just turned up. Hamish just got home. And my footage still has like an hour to go, so I'm not gonna be editing that tonight. I'll do it tomorrow. Oh wait, is this for you? That's yours. And read the address, sorry. Oh, only my mail. <laughs> I am spying on you. Got something from Urban Decay. Did you tell them the struggle? What struggle? The fact that we've just had recycling bin it's gonna be full again. Yeah, that's true. The recycling bin just got emptied and it's already like getting full of all the stuff that I just opened. Alright, this is a face and eye palette by Urban Decay. I'm just opening it carefully in case it's nothing super unique, so I can like put it into a Oh my god. Give away. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, nah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Look at that. The mirror comes out. Show me what you got. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Like hey, Mish is turning into a sneaker head. Oh, you are. You never used to wear sneakers. Start wearing sneans if you're not careful. Hey Shannon, we are so excited to share with you the new Sarah's Day White Fox Active Collection, I think. WFA. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> they all Reebok? Yeah, yeah, Reebok's where it's at, guys. Some people hate that orange look. Show me those tan ones, they're my favourite. These ones are cool. They're like suede. I like those. Nice, so. They come in different colours. This is so cute. Have you told people what we're doing? This what we confirmed today. What? Well, where we're going? I'm still waiting for the flights. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, Hamish, like, this is like, should I tell them? So, for the benefit trip, we were meant to go somewhere else, and then it got cancelled. Like, instead of the Maldives, it was somewhere else, and it got cancelled. And I was like, oh, that's such a bummer, because we knew about it for a while. Um, and I was like, saying to Hamish over dinner, and I was like, oh. Oh wow, well, like maybe we'll go to the Maldives or something instead like because it was a really cool location Like just I was completely joking and then liter literally the next day Benefit emailed and they were like we want to take you to the Maldives instead like we're so excited I was just like oh my gosh like I've obviously got some good karma and anyway So then the other day Hamish well like last week or the week before Hamish was like oh, I'd love to go to Formula One one day like 
would you come with me um, if we can like get tickets or something? And I was like, yeah, because if that's what Hamish wants to do, that's fine because he does lots of things for me. And then I got an email like two days later and it was from Formula One and they were like, hey, we'd love to have you as a special guest. Like come see the track, come like go in the car, um, hang out in VIP. And I messaged Hamish and he lost his shit. So. Yeah. He's kind of excited. Nah, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> get to do stuff like that so Hamish will be doing like Hamish like basically on his channel isn't really vlogging because when he's gonna be vlogging, we're just gonna put it on my channel and just like vlog together whenever like he's got time to vlog. So what we're gonna do is just like do vlogs there, which I think Hamish will take most control over. Um, and then we'll upload them on here so you guys can see what we get up to and there's gonna be heaps of fun stuff um, Obviously formula one's not like my biggest hobby Hamish loves it. It's not like my biggest hobby, but it, yeah There's still gonna be some like amazing stuff. So I'm so excited. Oh, well, this is like a nice lightweight just like sweater Cute. It's got a hood but Yeah, basically Hamish like told all of his friends. He's like guess what? It sounds like I'm bragging, huh? You were bragging. I wasn't bragging. <laughs> yes, I was you just were. saying, like, yeah, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. No. These are liquid eyeliners. Oh, they're like Mac ones. <laughs> Look at that. Rollable ones. Okay, that's enough unboxing for today. Yeah, come here. Zeus, come on. Oh, he's such a snob. Come on. Zeus, come here. <laughs> <laughs> You're so rude. He's such a grumpy old man. No, don't kiss me now. Not after you've just growled at me. He hates me today. I'm having tomato soup and toasty for dinner. Comfort food. It's miserable weather outside. I am wearing the Evlom Rescue Mask, which is one of my all time favorites. I'm just making a tea as well at the moment. Come on. Um, it is four. Can't remember. I don't know. I just love it. It makes my skin feel so good. Like exfoliated, clean. It helps get rid of blackheads and pimples. Just all of it. The whole shebang. Yeah, I just had a chill night. Had my soup. My toasty. It was delicious. So far, I don't feel sick, which is nice. By the way, someone asked me in one of my vlogs what brand our four slice toaster is and do we recommend it it is a delongi and yes it's good a brebble thing what's it called jug this is so dirty i need to wipe it down it's got crumbs all over it i've been lying here for like an hour and a half and i forgot this was on why don't you tell me I'm trying to talk to you when listen to me whatever it's a lie trying to sort out our destinations for tomorrowland because we are Landing in London, but we don't really want to stay in London. I think we're gonna fly from London to Barcelona or South France or something We're also gonna do I think Switzerland Germany um, Amsterdam obviously boom for Tomorrowland So yeah, Spain I know. We're trying to figure out where we're gonna go basically always a flittering angle at night time um, Spa music on Spotify And it is Good. Yeah, that's really nice, like music, though, Shannon. Yes, it is. It's good. Anyway, good night.